Hey, I'm John Serba, film critic for MLive.com and the Grand Rapids Press. And I'm here to talk about what's opening this weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, one of the biggest weekends of the year for film. Five movies opening in Grand Rapids this weekend. I'm exhausted, frankly, but I have three of them that are pretty good and I'm going to recommend them. So I'm going to kind of steal from the old At The Movie show and give you three to see this weekend. In order of importance, first of all, 127 hours. This movie is going to land a bunch of Oscar nominations. It stars James Franco in a coming out party for this young actor. It stars him as a guy who gets his arm pinned between a boulder and a rock wall. You might have heard about this guy. He wrote a book about it. Spoiler alert, the guy's still alive. Um, but Franco is terrific in this movie. It's directed by Danny Boyle, who did Slumdog Millionaire. Um, be warned, though, that this is a little bit difficult to watch, and I think that's why it's so powerful. Um, why is it difficult to watch? Because after a while, this guy ends up looking at his pocket knife and realizing there is no other way to get out of this situation. He's all by himself in a canyon, no one else for miles. Yeah. But you know what? It's... It's got a happy ending, I can say that much, and it's a very uplifting movie. It's all about the human spirit and how we can persevere through things. You think your life is bad, you won't feel that bad after you see this one. Number two, Tangled, is the new Disney animated movie. I, I kind of, that was kind of a rough transition. How do, how do I go from guy with arm to Rapunzel? But uh, here, here's a, a charming little animated film. Uh, not just a Disney princess little girl movie. I think everybody might enjoy this one because it's uh, it's got a lot of elements to it. You know, sure, it's got the Disney song and dance, Mandy Moore is the voice of Rapunzel, but the reason to go see this movie is Maximus. He is the horse in this movie. He doesn't talk, hooray, no talking animals, but he steals a lot of scenes. He provides the biggest laughs in this movie. Go see it. Take the family to see it. It's a lot of fun. Very bright, colorful, cheerful, upbeat, lighthearted movie. Finally, Love and Other Drugs. An R-rated romantic comedy. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway, who are very adorable as a couple. Um, they get it on a lot in this movie in various stages of undress. Uh, maybe that's a reason to see it for some of you. I didn't mind it so much, I have to admit. But they have great chemistry uh, as characters as well. So, um, not a great movie. It's got its ups and downs. It's a little lumpy and bumpy and rough in spots. Uh, doesn't really know whether it wants to be a, a, a real funny comedy or an intense drama. So it kind of lurches between the two. But like I said, Jake and Anne, great chemistry together. Go see it. Check out my reviews here at mlive.com slash movies. And have a wonderful holiday.